Okay, this thing is frosty. We're gonna go ahead and close that. Here we go. Three, two, one. What up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill camera flip. It's nothing gonna hold up brighter and also a whole, a whole colder. Basically, right here, guys, this is over $1,500 of liquid nitrogen. So, what we're gonna be doing today, oh guys, if you guys have been around here for a while, there's a big series on the channel, one of your guys' favorite series, and that is called Unbreakable. There's not like a title card for that one, but <laughs> that's what it's called, okay? We try and find all these different products that claim to be unbreakable and put them up to their own test and even our own test and see if they can actually hold up to being unbreakable. What we're gonna do today is over here, I have more liquid nitrogen than I've ever, ever, I think, I'm pretty sure most people have ever bought in their life, but I have never bought in my entire life. This is over 50 gallons of liquid nitrogen. That's a lot. Wow, look at a bathtub of liquid nitrogen. Well, how much does a bathtub hold? 50 gallons. Yeah. I researched this. Wow. <laughs> and if you guys don't know, liquid nitrogen gets up to negative 300. 150 degrees. Hey. <laughs> Some things are strong. You know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, very strong man. You know, Simeon Panda, also a very strong man. But you put 350 degrees on anything, it starts to look a little weak. <laughs> I know it all starts to look, look a little weak too when it gets cold. What we're going to be doing though is taking some of the most difficult objects through the Unbreakable series, tossing it a liquid nitrogen, and seeing how feeble liquid nitrogen can make them. And we'll also get to learn which ones are really unbreakable if they can get down to negative 350 degrees and still not break. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so before we get into things, I have to shout out the sponsor for today's video. This video literally wouldn't have been possible without them. Put it on screen right now. Raid Shadow Legends! <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at those graphics. And did I mention the best part is, it's free? If you don't know what Raid Shadow Legend is, it's a new immersive RPG that is like no other before and it's available on all platforms. You can get it on your freaking Android, you can get it on your iPhone, you can even get it on your grandma's damn iPad if you want to. It's everywhere. It's got everything you'd want out of an RPG. It's got amazing graphics, an epic storyline, and incredible giant boss battles, guys. And it's got PvP matches and hundreds of different collectible and customizable different champions. Personally, my favorite character is Galax. I mean, the, the dude has a freaking flaming tomahawk. That's basically me in a video game. I mean, at least what I, what I think I am. <laughs> the game is absolutely epic. And if you don't take my word for it, the game has over 300,000 perfect reviews. And if you don't believe those 300,000 people, I mean, you just have trust issues. <laughs> My dude Gallic got a freaking soul. Oh, you see that tomahawk, bro? Oh, he threw the tomahawk. He threw the freaking flaming tomahawk. The game is extremely fast growing, so there's a lot of people to play with. They have a ton of updates planned for you guys, so there's going to be literally an infinite amount of content to play. There's not very many games like that. Ever since I downloaded the game, I've been playing it like crazy. Here's a quick look at just some of the stuff they have planned. A new faction, a tag team arena feature, and even a new clan boss that you can battle with your clan mates. Go to the video description, click on the special links, and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as a part of the new player program to start your journey. I hate you. This thing, this thing is sinister. We got Saddam Hussein, we got the devil, and then we got this wine glass, okay? This thing is the worst. If you guys wanna know, this is an unbreakable wine glass. The company basically claims that it is a wine glass that you and your friends, your, your 40, 50 year old housewives can drink and nothing will happen to the cup. <laughs> this thing, it was a pain in the ass. If you watch the series, you get basically everything to this thing and it would not break. Here's a baseball bat. I can't stand it! It's one of the few things that we've done in this series where it really did almost beat every test. It took us literally shooting it with a crossbow to break it. So this cup, that'll eventually fall. Did it break? No. God damn it! Okay, so today we're breaking it, okay? Today is gonna be different. You may have bested me in that ADHD's life video. You're not gonna best me on ADHD's world, though. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be dropping this thing in liquid nitrogen and see how Something like this can become breakable. All right, so we're about to pour some liquid nitrogen on the cup. <laughs> you are so excited for this. <laughs> I'm very excited. You know, it's just a cup, right? Like, it's, just, it's just a cup. It's like a symbol for every problem in my life. It's going down. All right, so we're gonna pour the liquid nitrogen in here. Any item that's on this series that has become unbreakable, it leaves a scar with me mentally that I couldn't break it. So let's, let's remove that scar today. Also, do not try at home. You definitely should use, you know, gloves using liquid nitrogen, but we don't really do a lot of things normally here, so just to follow what we do. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, let me grab something to grab it out. Oh, I hear something crackling. Oh, if this thing broke already, I'd be so damn happy if I made it inside the cup. Oh, 
<laughs> it's inside the cup. I'm pretty sure it's done bubbling. Yeah, that thing needs more. <laughs> and this is just our first test here, guys. Here we go. This is just to see how the liquid nitrogen is going to work. I wanted to use on one of the more flimsy items. So here we go. Let's see if it's breakable now. Three, two, I freaking hate you. Okay, you're going back in there. Maybe I was a little too easy on you letting you out. I told you you was still breathing. All right, here we go. That thing is very cold. Let's see now. Are you breakable now, you little bitch? <laughs> that looks like a Game of Thrones cup or something. Let's see what happens in three, two, one. <laughs> Turns out you ain't so tough, are you? Oh, I have one thing to say. That cup. Okay, we found Superman's kryptonite. Let's go ahead and move on to the next items. All right, guys. So as we go through this, we're gonna be getting to higher and higher levels of, of unbreakableness. Is that the word? Probably, probably not. What the fuck I'm using? Okay. <laughs> unbreakableness. The further we go, the next one we're doing though is the hard hat. So in the hard hat video, we did all types of tests. We dropped stuff on it. We even ran over with the car. None of it worked. But I showed you guys a demonstration of how hard hats work and what they're using for using this ladder. So I'm gonna show you guys one more time for those that are new. This is what would happen with a cinder block and a hard hat typically. Dang. Okay, so it did it, which I'm actually surprised that even happened. <laughs> but we're gonna be doing it now with the liquid nitrogen. Pop the dent out. Now let's see how well it'll fare if you were, uh, I don't know, working in Detroit. All right, we got some liquid nitrogen already in here. Let's scoop some out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Only on ADSD's world where you see a man using no gloves, holding safety equipment filled with liquid nitrogen. The man does look cool. We're gonna let this thing get nice and cold inside of here. And then we're gonna try the same test. And then we're gonna be moving on to an item that was actually very recent that you guys loved a lot. All right, here we go in three, Two, one. Oh! oh. oh. Everything! <laughs> It turns out if you work in Detroit on a cold winter night, your head will get fucked up. <laughs> when it popped, I felt a burst of cold air go <laughs> upward. I was like, what the hell? Okay, so. Well, that'd be your head somewhere in there. Yeah, that would be. Hey, Jim, my good? I just felt a rock hit my head. Am I all right? Shows brain. <laughs> brain and inner thoughts. No, dude, you got pretty fucked up. I see your second grade memories. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, guys. So, I think you guys get where we're going with this. So, now let's move on to one of the more recent items you guys loved quite a bit. That is the unbreakable shoe. So, you guys. Guys love that video. This thing was absolutely insane. It took the air bow to take this thing down. If you guys aren't familiar, the toe in this thing is 100% smash proof. Hammering it, literally. And it's also, this is my hand currently inside of here, 100% stab proof. Okay, well, yeah, that's not really a good test. I mean, you need to use something that's not like a Tonka freaking knife. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, he's a bigger knife. Got the Michael Myers knife. There we go. And still, still quite stab proof. <laughs> okay, maybe something you didn't buy off a of wish. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, 100% stab proof. We're gonna be putting in liquid nitrogen though and see if all of those same things work. I only thought about this is it works through a lot of metal, so we'll find out. All right, guys, so I wanted to pour the liquid nitrogen inside of the shoot to see what happens. Let's go for it. What's happening? I, What's I, happening? I so much smoke. I, 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 <laughs> oh, it's leaking out. <laughs> Can you imagine like Frozone shoes? <laughs> So we're gonna submerge this thing into liquid nitrogen and then we're gonna see that all the functions of it still work. All right, they've been in there for quite a while, guys. So if I can get this thing out of here. We're gonna go ahead and go for the hit right there. You ready? I'm gonna give it a lot of force, more force than the other shoe, obviously. Three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god! Three, two, one. Liquid nitrogen is dope. <laughs> Already in the metal layer. One more hit should probably do it. I'm blocking everything. Three, two, one. <laughs> Wait, there's a steel toe. <laughs> we broke the unbreakable shoe. There is our steel toe right there. Oh my. <laughs> this is a shoe, right? But even the stab proof plate managed to be able to break through. <laughs> Cannot believe that. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that de thaw because it looks like, you know, right now it still makes sense because it's cold. Like these sharp edges and everything. But when this de thaw is going to be like, what happened to this shoe? <laughs> All right, guys. So next we're going to get into more unbreakable items. But I wanted to try something here. So right here, we've got an old, it's actually a unified La Mirada Norwalk School District official locker right here. So this is actually a real school locker. We have your basic high school locker. If you guys are in middle school or high school right now, this thing is probably very, very familiar. This is the lock that you get standard with any school. So we have the high school lock here. Very, very sturdy. Let's see if we can break it with a hammer. And then we're going to try it with liquid nitrogen and see if you froze the lock on the locker, could we break it open? I've always wanted to see that. We've all seen 007 when he uses a aerosol can to freeze it. I have seen, seen that movie. Oh, okay. Well. No. <laughs> all right, ready? Oh, yeah. 
so far nothing. Nothing. I mean, I think I could probably hit it a little bit better, but this little pad thing makes it a little tough, and I don't want to prank the whole locker up. So, let's try out the liquid nitrogen. I don't think it should take as many hits. Let's see how that works. Before we get into this, obviously, do not try this at your local high school or middle school and steal. All right, so here we're gonna, we're gonna do, we have this little survival tin cup here. We're gonna go ahead and put the lock inside of here, just like that. We're gonna go ahead and pour the liquid nitrogen that in. That seems like a very inefficient way to do it. Go yeah, for it. Yeah, there we go. Inefficient's our middle name. Yeah. <laughs> My mom's gonna call me inefficient for years. Oh yeah, right there. You can see the actual liquid nitrogen going inside of the lock. You see that? Oh. Going right in the actual lock holes. Okay, so that's what we wanted right there. We're gonna let that sit for a second. We're gonna see if we can break this thing open. Here we go, let's see if it works. Three, I'm gonna do a light tap. Three, two, one. Oh, I wanted to give it the lightest tap so you guys could see how well it worked. Definitely, well, hopefully the combination is between 10 and 15. <laughs> okay, so let's get this on. Oh my God. So it literally dismantled the whole lock. We're gonna try one more time with the more heavy duty lock and see if it works the same way. Oh yeah. God. Okay, before we move on, we got the brink lock here. These ones are made for impact. They're made not to be broken into. So let's see if it'll take a couple hits without any liquid nitrogen. Then we're gonna try it with the liquid nitrogen. All right. Nope. <laughs> nope. Then anything. <laughs> This thing, wow. And it always stands up. Bring it for a stand up man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bigger hammer, here we go. Three, two, one. I was thinking bigger hammer, bigger flip, I guess not. Okay, so even, I was gonna get a bigger hammer, but even after a couple hits, it won't open anymore. It's not like open though, that's good. The goal is to open it. So now we're gonna drop one of some liquid nitrogen and see if this thing, a actual impact proof lock, works the same way. All right guys, so we're throwing the lock inside of the liquid nitrogen right there. We're gonna give that some time and hopefully it should be able to break. All right, we got the lock Pretty out. Sure broke the cup. Something is cracking. Oh, it's the paint on the cup. <laughs> Can we open the lock now, now that it's got liquid nitrogen inside of it? Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> All I saw was it flying. It's a good thing we don't usually film that direction. Okay, we rediscovered the lock. We're not in yet, but I think we're close. Oh my god. The liquid nitrogen broke the block Ooh. itself. Thing is, when you get it cold enough, it literally broke from the stem. Do you see that? <laughs> okay. Liquid nitrogen seems to be able to break into most locks. Let's move on to the next object. That was a lot of fun. I got to finally play 007 in real life. <laughs> noodle. More like ASMR noodle. All right, guys. So next, one of your favorite things that have ever been on the Unbreakable series, and that is my BBC. I'm just kidding. It's actually a bat. <laughs> It's a BBB. It's a big black bat. Yeah, the BBB featured on BBC. <laughs> What we're gonna be doing, guys, is if you guys haven't seen this, this is the Brooklyn Basher, but this is actually the Brooklyn Shorty. Oh. You're sitting on the Brooklyn Smasher right now. I got a smaller one just because I figured it'd be a lot harder to freeze a full size one and we'd be able to use, basically be able to fit it inside of here. But it's made of the same material but cold steel, 100% unbreakable. Probably I'd say top three most unbreakable things on the Unbreakable series. And we're about to break it, I think. Still saying I think because it's cold steel. They're probably used to some cold. <laughs> <laughs> if cold steel breaks on liquid nitrogen, it gotta be a little ironic, wouldn't it? And we're gonna be freezing the Brooklyn Basher. We're gonna have to make this happen. Give me the fire. Parker said this is a bad idea. I did say this is a bad idea. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on. on. Alright, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's like heaven. <laughs> this is the Brooklyn Basher, guys. It's made by Cold Steel. No joke. This thing is heavy duty. So we're going to leave it in there for quite a bit. If we're going to break this thing, I want it to be first try. Alright, so here we go. This thing has been sitting there for 15 minutes. Oh my gosh. If you guys don't know how liquid nitrogen works, however dense it is, that's how much of the air. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> it's not the bat though, it didn't crack. Yeah, it oh, did. Dude, right there already. Oh my God, we haven't even hit it yet. Like I said guys, the more dense the object is, the more liquid nitrogen actually the coldness absorbs. Not, nothing more dense than cold steel. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're going back at it. Now that's what I'm talking about. We just broke the unbreakable technology of the cold steel Brooklyn Brasher. It just, it just snapped. <laughs> So freaking cold. Dude, we never got to see what the inside is. It's actually kind of hollow. You, you kind of wonder what to say. It's like, wow, I just spent a lot of money and a lot of time on, on trying to break that bat with no result. And then I just broke it right now in like six seconds. <laughs> Brooklyn Basher, more like the Brooklyn 
Shatterer. <laughs> All right, guys. So the next thing we're going to be doing is an actual safe. So right here, I have a money box. The reason why I got this, these things are extremely durable. They're made for high points of impact. But I got this one because this one is fireproof, which means it's insulated in order to keep hot temperatures out. And usually insulation also means it keeps colds out as well. So I want to see if it actually will work in its weather conditioning. If we put it in liquid nitrogen, we're definitely going to find out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's do it again. Do not try at home if you have the safe or if you, you acquire a safe. Don't do this, okay? Three, two, one. Oh, nice. The oh, rest really? of this one's going in there. All right, so we're holding this thing down, letting it get nice and cold. We're going to keep it in there for a little bit, and then we're going to try the test. Will liquid nitrogen let us break into an insulated safe? Let's find out. All right, here we go. <laughs> The money in the back. Let's drop that thing there. We're gonna pour some of the liquid nitrogen inside of there. All right, dude, check that out. Okay, this thing is frosty. We're gonna go ahead and close that. Here we go. Three, two, one. Well, safe to say that it worked. Dude. Oh my god. The insulation is rock solid. Typically, that's powder. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, so it seems like liquid nitrogen makes just about anything breakable. There is one thing that we have gone against that has been absolutely almost undoable, and that is bank bulletproof <laughs> glass. I saved a piece from the bank bulletproof glass that we got, and we're going to be trying it out now on a double three ballistic bulletproof glass. All right, guys, so we're doing the last thing, and that is, like I said, the bulletproof glass. We did absolutely everything on it. We hit it with the freaking Lucille. Nick Jeff, shut up. We even threw a damn bowling ball at it. <laughs> All right. Oh, now we will get to see if liquid nitrogen is a trick. But I saved this piece last set, guys. What we're gonna do right now is pour the liquid nitrogen in there. And like we did the Brooklyn Basher, I think we might need to leave this in there longer than the Brooklyn Basher for sure. Because this is level three ballistic glass. I don't know what the Brooklyn Basher is, probably level four ballistics. <laughs> Let's try this out. We're gonna leave it in there. Let's do it. All right, bulletproof glass versus liquid nitrogen. Let's do it. That's the last of liquid nitrogen. Oh my god. What? Dude. Oh, dude, <laughs> it's cracking it, guys, before we can even pull it out. Oh, my God. Sledgehammer time. Unbreakable glass, ballistic, bulletproof glass. Here we go. Three, two, one. Nothing. If you guys went through what we went through in this video, trying to break this thing, and to see it crumble like this, that is a glorious sight. Bulletproof glass versus liquid nitrogen. <laughs> Absolutely not. All right. So I hope you Ooh. enjoyed this video. <laughs> enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure I smash that like button subscribe if you're new here and check this video out on your screen right here which is actually a video where we dip weapons into liquid nitrogen including a twisted dagger and it made it literally freeze the inside of the targets so you guys are gonna want to miss that one I'll see you guys over there and as always rep pack I will see you beautiful people in the next one adios Bloop. <laughs>